Hey everybody, it's Conundrum back again. I'm sorry about what was going on for earlier. Uh, I was having a few technical issues going on, so I wasn't able to get my stream together. Um, I'm finally able to get it that together now after actually uh, restarting twice, which kind of really sucks because it really makes you kind of have to look back and go, okay, what did I do wrong? What changed? And, you know, it's kind of a pain because a lot of times when you're actually working on your stream, you don't want to sit up here and try to keep stopping and starting stream because you're having some type of issue. But, you know, that's just sometimes the way things bounce. But again, I hope you guys are helping are having a great uh, Wednesday. Uh, as I call it Friday Eve. Uh, Aaron93, uh, thanks for uh, becoming a follower. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm hoping people can come back in and, you know, get on my stream and kind of go from there. So I'm just doing a just chatting stream today. I'm not really talking about anything in particular um, great today. Uh, just about me and my streaming. Um, and also about my collection, uh, mainly about my collection because I'm a big time collector. Now, if anybody knows anything about me, they know I'm a big time collector. I love collecting things. Uh, it's a huge thing that I do all the time. Uh, collecting has been a part of my life for uh, since I was a kid. Uh, starting out with some of the first things I collected, which was basketball cards as a kid. Uh, they were always very fun to collect, and I always felt like, you know, if I had to collect anything, basketball cards were definitely the thing that I that would collect. So, you know, for me, basketball cards were huge. Uh, they definitely were very fun. Uh, I remember collecting them uh, when I was in grade school again, and, you know, just having them and, you know, just kind of having them around and I was collecting them and actually wanted to show them off every once in a while and kind of go from there. But, you know, a lot of times what you don't realize too when you start collecting things is that collecting can get uh, very big, very fast, depending on what it is. Um, I used to collect, again, I asked my cards as a kid, but then as I got older, I stopped collecting. I didn't really collect things like that anymore. And then as an adult, I kind of came back to it now and actually started collecting more and more. Uh, so again, it was just very fun for me to be able to collect uh, different things I enjoy and feeling like, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, if I constantly do it, you know, I definitely, uh, will be, uh, one of the people that feel like, you know, it's something that I can build on and keep building on and kind of go from there. Now that you might ask, what do I collect? I collect a little bit of everything. I collect basketball cards. I collect, um, I also collect Funko Pops. I collect figures. I collect statues. Um, I collect what else? Um, a little bit of everything. I collect a uh, little, you know, a little, I guess yeah, Funko Pops, statutes, uh, figures, all that good stuff. I collect all that stuff because I thoroughly enjoy that stuff. You know, I really have been all the sound mind that, you know, for me, you know, collecting has always been a big thing for me because, you know, I've always enjoyed just being able to, you know, see, you know, what I could collect and how much I can collect particular things. And a lot of times, you know, for me, you know, collecting has gotten to the point where, you know, it's all about just trying to make sure that I have a certain amount of things that I enjoy and kind of go from there. But again, sometimes it can get out of control a lot of times without you even realizing that that a lot of times, you know, when you'll actually buy things, you know, you'll realize too, it's like, okay, well, I have this thing, I have this thing, I have this thing. You know, let me try to, you know, make sure that I don't have too much of just anything or did too much of this or that or whatever else. So for me, you know, my collecting has gotten a little bit more than I actually wanted it to. Uh, again, you know, it's a learning experience to say the least uh, for me because I know that, you know, when I collect, I collect, you know, just because, you know, it's something I thoroughly enjoy. You know, I have a little bit of everything that I've collected. And again, I've collected uh, anime, I've collected um, Marvel, DC, Disney, uh, basketball, basketball players, uh, football players and all that good stuff. So I have a little bit of everything. And for me, you know, it's all about, you know, just, uh, learning how to, you know, navigate through the, the necessities of, you know, figuring out what you want to collect and what you don't want to collect. Now, again, collecting can get out of control. As you can tell, um, I have a lot of Funko Pops. Uh, I have over 900 I've actually collected over the years. Uh, it's been a great thing, uh, to collect again. Now I'm not going to say that it's taken me a long period of collect this time. But I, I've done it over a short period of time when I actually started collecting Funko Pops. Now, again, I'm going to tell you, you know, I didn't realize how good or big this thing could get until I got to this point where I am now, where I was like, okay, I have all these Funko Pops, you know, what what am I doing with all these things? You know, I need to make sure that, you know, I am, uh, you know, putting them in a good place that I can kind of display them if I can and go from there. Now, again, sometimes I see just said and done. You know, a lot of times people don't realize that, Whenever you're actually working with Funko Pops, you know, you end up having to, you know, just uh, basically take and, uh, you know, put it in different places. Again, it's very hard sometimes that you find places to put your Funko Pops because, you know, for me, you know, I always have been in the sound of mind. I want to display them as best I can, but sometimes you can't always display them like you want to because you know, a lot of times you'll end up having them, 
you know, all over the place. And again, you can run out of space very, very quickly. A lot of times when you have a lot of Funko Pops. And for me, my Funko Pops have gotten just a little bit of everywhere and a little bit of everything. And, you know, again, it's one of those things where, you know, uh, you have to, you know, basically make sure that you, you know, collect what you want to collect after a while and not collect just a little, a little bit of everything. Um, or collect everything that's coming out because there are a lot of times that new things do come out on a regular basis. So you want to make sure at least if you get the different things that you know you can uh get them get things that you thoroughly enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna throw, throw some music in here too because I know I haven't played any music. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, throw some music on here. That way, you know, we have some music playing in the background too while I actually stream. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna stream today. Uh, I'm actually working on uh. Really, actually, I'm excited for this weekend because this weekend I'm actually going to uh, C2E2 in Chicago. Uh, it's going to be very, very nice. There's going to be a lot of people there. A lot of celebrities are going to be coming in from different panels. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. I'm going out with my friends, hanging out with them. Uh, just, you know, so we can have a good time. So it's, it's just going to be a very good weekend for us. So, you know, for me, you know, it's going to be all about, you know, trying to enjoy ourselves and just be out there and just kind of going from there. Now, a couple of things I would like to do is I would like to get some things signed. However, it is getting very, very expensive to actually see some of these panelists uh, who are coming here because, you know, unfortunately, some of them do charge for their plea to see them. And, you know, they do have long lines. So, you know, some people that I've seen that are coming are like Chris Evans. I've seen people who are coming from uh, Avatar. I've seen people come from X-Men. Um, Give people just from cosplay. So, it's going to be very, very big. And, you know, like I said, it's going to be very huge. And, you know, I definitely want to make sure that, you know, I have a really great time because, you know, tickets aren't cheap to go. Now, one of the big things that you got to recognize about C2E2 is that C2E2 is, um, in a big building they also have a lot of different places that you guys can go to um, when you go to the actual event uh they have uh the actual panelists who are i think further in the back they also have special panels they have way back in the back where you guys get to ask questions to different panelists and stuff like that uh again that stuff can get very expensive and i'm not trying to pay all that money for that i'm sorry i'm not it's just not gonna happen but you know again it's just one of those things where you know you go there you just go there to pretty much have a good time now, i am dressing up as cosplay um i might be going as a jedi uh this year uh, I'm debating on if I'm actually gonna stream. I think I might stream uh, on live uh, on my Twitch uh, while I'm there if I can, so some people can actually see what it looks like just actually be there, you know, at the event because there's plenty of them that goes around around the country. But you know, I feel like you know this is a great one to go to that I thoroughly enjoy. And you know, like I said, it's second to none. And you know, everybody's just there to have a good time. And you can always collect things that you want there. Uh, I'm trying to avoid collecting too many things. You know, I kind of picked up a few things while I was there last time, but you know, I just don't want to pick up too many, too many things. You know, if I can't, if I don't need to, and kind of go from here. Um, you know, so like I said, that's gonna be key thing. Just you know, make sure I just do do you know, be there. Have fun, enjoy myself, and go from there. Because that's that's what the main thing is that you know, going there and having fun. But again, um, I'm going back to what I was talking about about collecting. You know, collecting has always been huge for me. You know, like I said, um, over the years, over the actually the last couple of years, that's why I really started collecting more. Um, I actually limited myself way back when, but then you know, as I've gotten older, it's like, okay, well, you're older now, you can kind of collect things if you want to collect. Uh, you know, what do you want to collect? You know, kind of go from there. I actually started my first book up. I actually started out to be a Shuri from Black Panther. Uh, that had to be my first one. And then I started, you know, looking at, like, okay, well, I'm going to collect the series. So I started working on collecting the series. As you can see behind me, I have a bunch of them from the series. Uh, the only unfortunate part is that for me, I've always been eclectic with my collecting. I collect just about a little bit of everything. He's back. Yeah, I'm back. And Paul, man, good to see you, man. I was having an issue with my cameras earlier, man. My camera was not coming on, so I had to restart my computer like twice. Just to actually get my camera work for my live chat. I have no idea why it was not working. Like, it would work in my in game thing, but it wouldn't work on that. I uh, got the collection going good, huh? Yeah, man, the collection is always going good, but you know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get to a point where I limit what I collect now because it's like now I just, you know, I don't have space for stuff. And until I get a bigger spot where I actually can actually put everything to display like I want to, it's going to be just sitting a little bit everywhere. It's kind of like I have right now. It's like a little bit of stuff that's actually sitting in the corner right now on me right now. Uh, a bunch of new stuff I just bought. Uh, I did actually did buy a bunch of um, new uh, McFarlane figures. Now, if you're not familiar with McFarlane figures, they're definitely great figures that you can buy. 
Um, I have some listed here. Uh, and I've been also posting them to my uh, my to my uh, my TikTok as well. You know, creating stuff. I'm gonna get up there. I don't know how this got up here, but okay, there you go. That's fly down. Okay, so this is like a Mephala figure right here. Uh, this is the Grifter. I actually did like a little uh, uh little uh, comic thing on uh, put it on TikTok. Again, my TikTok information is under my link tree as well. But feel free to follow that as well. Uh, this is a Grifter. Uh, this is a great uh figure that I got for DC. Again, you know DC has been coming out with a lot of new ones as of late, and I've also been trying to you know collect a bunch of them as well. Uh, this is like uh, one of the big ones. The bat cycle so i haven't actually taken this one out yet again i don't have a lot of room to display everything i want to display but this is one of them uh this is bat cycle uh this is definitely a, a great one i really like this way this one looks i think it's gonna be really great when i set it up and uh one of the other things i wanted to bring up too when it comes to the figures is that there's some like this one this is uh one of the figures i have now this is uh this is this is the actual figure mc mc uh multiverse figure now this actually comes up pieces now this is one thing that's very interesting that macron actually does it's pretty kind of cool and they kind of mean all the same time so they have this collectible figure as you can see on the, on the side right here we collect all the pieces and if you put all the pieces together you actually get a figure out of it so Unfortunately, you have to actually get at least four. You have to get four of these, four different ones uh, that they have to be lifted on the back that you can see here. That you actually can put together and actually make another figure. Now, uh, the figure that I actually get to put together with this one is this one. This is the All Father. Uh, this is the figure that you get to put together. Uh, different pieces come with it, as you can tell. As you tell, the, the arms, of course, are one one piece. Uh, the head comes in another another one. The, the actual cape actually comes in another one. The legs come in different pieces. They come off, and then the chest area comes off. So this is the All Father. Uh, this is another one. This is one that I put together. Now again, the great thing about these is that you can just play them however way you want to. Uh, most of them come actually with a wow, yeah. Most of these actually come with a little stand that you can put on them so you can keep them held them up, keep them in one spot. A lot of times it's sometimes hard to keep them in one spot because a lot of times, you know, if you move them around, if you bump something, they'll kind of fall. Hi, right, T Gamma, what's going on, man? Good to see you. how you doing today. And I hope you happen to have a great uh, Wednesday. Uh, we just talked about collecting and stuff like that and me being a collector and stuff like that. So I was just saying before, you know, how much of I'm a collector I was. You know, I collected stuff as a kid. If you collect some, something, definitely put it, feel free to put it down in the comment section. So I was actually explaining about this McFarlane figure. Now these are McFarlane figures. Uh, this is actually one that I put together. This one is actually uh, one that came in a box with the list left. I'm sorry, with this one. Uh, this is the actual figure that originally came in and now they come with pieces. Again, now they put the pieces on the side. So the pieces are on the side. So they're usually a piece right here on the side. And then of course, if you turn on the back, they actually show you what the pieces look like when they come together. Now this is what it looks like when it actually does come together. So it does look like this. Now again, when you do get them and you do put them together, they do look very nice uh, for the most part. Uh, sometimes they're a little harder to move around. People have said best way to actually be able to move these around and give them the display like you want to is put them like in hot water, warm water. That way the dependents can actually loosen up some. That way you can display them how you want to. Uh, again, if you go to my TikTok page, I have a bunch of videos. And also my Instagram, if you check my Instagram out, I have a bunch of videos or, you know, get comic book uh, art that I actually designed that I actually put on my page just because I got bored and I wanted to do something fun with them. So I kind of went from there. So again, you know, it's very fun to actually have these and be able to do this and uh, actually, you know, be able to display them like how you want to display them and kind of go from there. So again, you know, these are just me collecting my McFarlane figures. Now, McFarlane actually did have a bunch of new figures that came out. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I have in my room right now. Uh, I can look to see them. Uh, let me see if I can grab them. Um, I'm trying to remember if they're in here or if they're outside of my room. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find them real quick. Uh, I think. Oh, yeah, they're in here. Okay. So, there is some new figures that came out uh, that I want to show you guys. Um, that are really, really popular right now. And again, these are actually on back order. Uh, I, I am, I'm good. Just chilling. Cool, man. I'm glad you're just chilling, man. So these are the new figures that just came out from McFarlane. Now, these have been sold out because everybody wants these figures because this is from the Dark Knight series. Again, if you're a DC fan, you're, of course, you know. Uh, so this is one of the ones that uh, this big ones. Uh, it's actually just the Scarecrow. This is, uh, of course, from the Dark Knight. Uh, again, now you put together the back one. The back one that you put together is actually going to be Bane, which is really cool. Now, honestly, when I watched the series of uh, The Dark Knight, I was a huge fan. Love, 
she'll love it to death. Again, I grew up with Batman, Welcome Batman, 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 I'm sorry, the dark, I'm, I'm saying my name wrong. I grew up with Batman, I grew up with Batman Returns, kind of went, went from there. So again, these actually come in a set. So again, as you can see on this side, there's actually little uh, pieces that actually you put together to actually make a new one. So again, this is the first one. Um, that this one, I should say, this one, the last ones that came in, the Scarecrow. This one took a little while to come in. Now, here's the ones that everybody's absolute favorite. I know everybody loves because everybody loves the Dark Knight series without this guy. Of course, we know Heath Ledger. So this is the new one that came in. Uh, this is the one that uh, everybody wants. Again, as you can see, he's in here. He has the money in here well. And then, of course, on this side, you actually can see the actual pieces for Bane. They actually can put the pieces together for Bane. are pretty good. Yeah, I grew up on Batman also and, and uh, uh, Beyblade. Okay, okay. I understand. Yeah, I grew up on the same thing. So, like I said, you know, when this series came out, I was very surprised. And actually kind of shocked because I wasn't sure how this was going to be initially when it came out. Because originally, I thought it was going to be just... You know, I was like, okay, well, I grew up with Batman, Batman Returns, and unfortunately, we grew up with, with uh, Batman and Robin, which is it's still a cult classic, but obviously, it ain't going, it ain't you know what you know Batman and Batman Returns was. So you know, it is what it is. But um, next one, of course, is our infamous Batman with Christian Bale. So this one, is this one, of course, you tell. And then of course, you got the legs in here as well. Bro, Batman Returns, man, that movie was fire. Yeah, man, that movie was fire. And especially M Michelle Pfeiffer, man, she did her thing in that movie. And just, I, I didn't even realize how much she went through actually to actually get into shape in that movie, too. But she said she went through a lot of training, personal training, and stuff like that, to actually get in shape and get ready for that particular role, which is really cool. So I didn't even realize she went through so much to do that. But she did to try to get all in shape and ready for doing it. Especially Danny DeVito as Penguin. Yeah, man, he did a great job in that. You know who did, actually did a great job in that, uh, in a series was, um, I don't know you remember Gotham. Gotham, uh, where they had the Penguin on that one. That was another good one. Classic, yeah, definitely classic. I really like the Gotham series. I'm not sure if anybody watched the Gotham series, but I actually like the Gotham series. Actually, I felt like it should have went on longer because it was pretty good to me. But again, I, I can't force them to make a series go on, but I really love Gotham. Gotham, I thought, was really, really great. I mean, honestly, I was one everybody to, you know, enjoy Gotham as much as I could and kind of go from there. So, yep, so that's another one. So, again, this is the Batman one. Again, it comes with his uh, his uh, gun. And again, of course, you know, you got your Bane figures in the back. And kind of go from there. Um, the last one, of course, is the, is the one that to get your middle or torso piece would be Two Face. So, Harvey Two Face. So, this is the last one, the last piece that came in. Uh, that, then, of course, you know, they actually have it where, again, you have the torso in the center. Again, you can put it together and actually make an actual uh, Bane figure. So, again, it comes in like this. And then, of course, you can put it together and make a Bane figure, which is really cool. Now, the even better there, Michael Keaton as uh, Batman was lit. Now, one other thing I, I wanted to show you guys actually right now is that they actually do have, they're actually bringing out the Michael Keaton um, McFarlane figure. And I actually pre-ordered it for, for, for this one. Now, they also have a statue that they have as well that they have with Michael Keaton as well. Uh, I'm going to show you guys in a second what it looks like. Uh, just so you have an idea about what it, what it looks like. But, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so... So, uh, Michael Keaton is Batman. Well, look, definitely. And like I said, I'm going to switch out and show you guys real quick the other one that I saw on here. Let me bring it up on on Amazon because Amazon has it, the figure. Uh, and I'm going to show you the figure, what it looks like. Again, it's going for about 40 bucks. Uh, but again, it is definitely worthwhile. Now, this is the actual statue. There's a difference between a statue and the figure. The figure, of course, being that, you know, the figure you can move around. The statue doesn't do anything. It stays where it was. I seen the Flash trailer, bro. They brought back Michael Keaton and Batman. I was so yeah. I think that's a hook to everybody. If you grew up in the '80s and '90s, that's who you're gonna stick with. That at least that's who you're gonna stick with for the you know you know duration of time. And then you know, like you said, when they brought him back into the movie, it's like man. Honestly, I wasn't sure about the guy who's playing the Flash now because I actually like the guy who played Barry in the actual series on the CW. I kind of liked him a little better, but again, like I said, that's just my view on it. Somebody might like the other one better, but I definitely think that it's worthwhile. But let me show you guys real quick. Okay, so this is a new one that they have out now. It's coming out now. Now, this is the, the one that they have in right now. Uh, bro, I was saying, let's, let's freaking go. <laughs> no, right? 
So this is the one they have now. This is an actual statue. Now this is like a 12 inch statue. So it's it's pretty tall. Um, I'm trying to think if I have one over here. I can show you guys. I think the one over here that I have over here, my Ryu might actually be the same size. But let me show you guys in a second. But look, this is the one that's coming out. Now it's not out yet. This is coming out on Wednesday, April 19th. So this is not too far coming, coming too far out from coming out, but it's definitely uh, one of the ones that uh, you know everybody's talking about as well. Uh, also, one. Let me see. Don't check up the other one too. The other one that they have, because they have another one that's coming out. And again, this is the figure though. Um, let me see. They have the figure here. Uh, that's not it. Um, try to see if I can bring up the figure real quick. Yeah. So this is supposed to be the figure. Wait, wait. I'm just saying. Okay, so this is the figure. Again, the figure looks pretty much like almost the same way as well. So, you know, also my statue of the Winged Dragon of Ra is supposed to come in today. But some punch, uh, Porch Pirates. What? Are you kidding me? Wow. Bro, I hate when people do that. Bro, I am so hurt for you for that, man. Dude. Oh man, I, I I hope that they can give you a give you a replacement, man, because I've had that happen to me before, and I was pissed. I mean, we talking about pissed, pissed. I mean, I was so mad, man. I was like, I was like, man, bro, this this is this can't be like this. I'm like, no, nah, man, they can't be having all this stuff going on, man. I said, then they gotta rewind that. <laughs> man, that that don't make no sense, bro. I was, I was mad, mad. I oh, man. I understand exactly how you feel. I'd be the same way, you know, and and that's how I feel about my stuff too. Like, you know, you pay for this stuff, so somebody's just gonna be a porch power and just come take your stuff just because they see it there. And that's why I always, you know, try to put my tell them put like my stuff in the door or something like that just in case. I was having the same with Jackson moment. I was like, Mom, yeah, Mom, what, 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 bro? I mean, I was ready to flip out myself. So, um, so this is a seven inch figure. I think I have a have a one that's the other figure I can show you guys. Now this is my Ryu one. Um, let me show you guys, and I'm gonna switch to the other one too. Uh, so let me switch real quick. Okay, so this is the one I think is gonna look like the one that I have this there. But this is my Ryu one that I have. So this is what my Eva Ryu, the one that I bought. Um, I bought off uh, um, Makari. So I, I really like this one because this is really cool, uh, real tall figure, stuff like that. So I'm going back, stuff like that. So. Again, this is one of my many, my many again uh, collections I have of different things. So, you know, they're just really, you know, really cool and fun to have stuff like that. So, you know, I'm really a big collector, a big time collector, stuff like that, man. But let us know, you know, if they actually decide they're gonna replace that, man. Cause I'm mad for you that they did that to you, man. And that's so mean and speed spirited that people do stuff like that, man. It, it is so bogus, and I hate that. And that's why, you know. I would feel like, you know, a lot of times going Street Fighter 6, you know what? I I have um on my Steam, I have, which one do I have? The last one I got on here. I'm trying to remember. Let me see. I have five on here. Last one I have on here is five. So, uh, I mean, I will have to see. You know, kind of go from that. That's the last one I have on here is five. You're getting, uh, but yeah, I have five on my uh, my computer. I think I downloaded. I didn't download it, but I got it from Steam because it was really cheap. It was only about like, I think like less than ten bucks or something like that on uh, Steam. So I said, you know what? Why not? You know, let me just go ahead and get you know go ahead and pick, scoop that up real quick because I just really want to have that game on my computer. And you know, if I ever want to play it, I can just always get down with it, get down and just uh, go ahead and play it and go from there. So you know, it's just always fun to have that stuff and go from there. But yeah. So, you know, that, and that's just messed up though, you know, hearing something like that, man. That, that just tears me apart when, when, when that drop, um, let me see. When does that new one drop? Hold on. Let's look it up. Street Fighter 6. Okay, I see it already on here. Um, uh, actually it's already out. No, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Now it comes out June 2nd from what I've seen, June 2nd. So, uh, it looks like it's going to be June 2nd when it comes out. Uh, I'm completely wrong about that. Yeah, I was wrong. I was wrong. I'll admit it. I was wrong about that one. So, I'm trying to... Let me go ahead. I'm going to try to actually play the trailer for you guys. Because I want to see what the trailer looks like in, in uh, myself. So, give me one second. 
Let's see, uh, Street Fighter 6. Let's go on YouTube real quick. See if I can actually see what it's like and go from there. Oh, we can still hear me, though. Hopefully I'm not too low and all like that. Well, day one by, I don't know. I don't know if it's day one by, but I'm definitely going to. Let's check out the trailer, though, and see what they talk about. Uh, okay, so they have different players. Let's just do... Do they have a general one? Uh, let's just do this one. As we go through the commercials, of course, man, Lori. You got two mics ticking. Uh, I'm hurrying, bro. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you got you, you got to get you got two mics picking. You say I have, do I have two mics picking up? That what you're saying? Hold on, let me see something. Uh, let me see. Do you get double audio? Do you get double audio or just one? So let's check out this trail over here. Actually, you know, I'm gonna pause on music real quick. Just so you can see the quick uh, commercial for real quick. Too bad. Ooh. Oh yeah, I remember that move. Ooh. Him coming with that smoke. Ouch. Still a close battle. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh, that got nasty quickly. You gotta have the filters in the, in the scene. Okay. Right on. I'm definitely gonna have to do that uh, to the what's called two just after you add the, uh, the filters to that one. Uh, I think what it is that it's probably my focus in the other one. So that was definitely going to attack picking up soon out of you. And let's see if that works. Uh, that's what New Street Fighter 6 is like. Yep, that's New Street Fighter 6. Come out in June. So it's gonna be huge. Woo -hoo -hoo. Man. man, she got that leg though, man. She got them legs. She got them long legs, man. She got them Daoshin legs. And man, she gonna mess around and do the freaking. <laughs> the visions are crazy. I know, right? I'm saying. Serious? Ooh. She gonna dance with her? Then she gonna slam like that? Mm. She gonna do a pure wet on this girl? Wow. She gonna feel that in the morning. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, uh, that lady who is uh, grappler mixing with uh, ballet is pretty dope. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Locked on. She looks like she's about to be doing some stuff. She's about to be doing some moves. But, uh, man, definitely Cammy give her a run for her money, man. Cammy has been, been, Cammy has been, been that, that girl for a long time. I mean, seriously, she's been that girl for a long, long time. So that looks like that's the trailer for that one. I wonder if there's another trailer for it. Let me see. Uh, Zanga, Lily, and Cammy gameplay. Let's see, Cammy is going to be top tier. Somebody already said Cammy is going to be top tier already? Wow. Let's see. I mean, let's look at that one since they said, since they kind of kind of pushing for this one. But let me see, uh, Zangief, Lily, and, uh, but Zangief, you know, Zangief always seems like he's always been kind of slow when it comes to moving, man. Like, he always take him forever to do stuff. And I think that's why a lot of people didn't use his target. So he just like this. Okay. Yeah. 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 
So you got that big dumb dumb size uh hell shit. Then he looks awesome too, yeah. Oh, my boy E Honda. Oh yeah, that's that boo boy, that's that boo. Oh, it was a back break up. Suplex, Suplex City. Ooh. They got my man getting kind of fast. They ain't low P, yeah. They ain't even kind of fast. This is your last ride. Let's go. My beautiful body is built better. Bruh. Oh, snap. I call upon you. Uh, Jamie, uh, Jamie, bro. You, you have uh, that Spirit fucking list. Yeah, yeah. Let yourself. Oh, I got feeling she about to do some stuff. She about, she about to face her some feelings. Lily? She about to face my feelings. Oh, my boy Blanca! Oh, wow. Woohoohoo! But then, what we heard in the it's cool also, yeah. How you just gonna fall on top of somebody like that, really? Wow. She just fell on top of somebody. She looks like she's gonna have a, have a nice time with the game. Not the one we're looking for. Cammy. Uh oh. See Cammy about to come in here, dude. Cammy about to come in here hard for a win. Yeah, that's gonna be a kill kick. Yep. Yeah. If it's this, it's gonna be a real kick. Crazy spiral, Another mission spiral awaits. arrow, yep. Damn, can we got them just cheap? <laughs> just cake. You know, you know what? No, no matter what game they have, most of the girls always be thick in the games. I mean, you can't even lie. This day one, okay, I see you. You're gonna be streaming this in a certain email? Imagine if they master this game. Oh, damn. Yeah, imagine if you, uh, yeah, if you did master this game, you'd be OP, man. Seriously. You know, you'd be like, man, and be in tournament stuff like that. I'm not sure if uh, Emo gonna be streaming this game, hey, but uh, it's definitely gonna be a game that's um, be worthwhile in the grand scheme of things, at least I think. So, so they gonna show us some Street new Street Fighter 6 is coming on June 2nd of this year okay, and will be 2nd. launching with 18 playable characters to start. More 18? than any other of the franchise's initial rosters, save for Street Fighter 4's, which had a whopping 25. Now, 10 of those characters hail from Street Fighter 2, 2 of them come from Street Fighters 4 and 5 okay. respectively, and then 6 are brand new to the franchise. Okay. We're taking a closer look at these 6 newcomers today so as to give you an idea of who they are, how they'll play, and what all they may be bringing to the table in the next evolution of Street Fighter. Like Raiden. Let's jump in with the very first new to be revealed, <laughs> from Cammy. Hey. Jimmy is a young breakdance loving character from Hong Kong. He's clearly inspired by the designs of his cousins, Yun and Yang, with whom he shares a few techniques. Also like the twins, Jamie serves in the role of peacekeeper in his somewhat crime-ridden hometown. Now, unlike the twins, Jamie practices oh, wait, Zui Kwan, the Chinese the, drunken uh, fist martial arts style, demo, and combines demo. this with breakdancing to create his own demo. unique approach to battle. He got like a Capcom whole uh, DJ Jamie an interesting from, level from up system type. wherein he takes sips from his hip jug to gain access to new attacks and maneuvers amid any given round. Oh, the developers went out of the way that this drink is more like a medicinal tea okay, and not you. actually alcohol for what that's worth. 
According to the character designer Kaname Fujioka, Jamie is set up to serve as the Ken Masters for the new generation of Street Fighter fans, contrasting against his rival, Luke, who as the game's protagonist, would have to be the New Age Ryu. When KOing an opponent with Jamie's critical art, some Chinese text appears on screen. This translates to end of film and is a reference to, well, how this phrase typically appears at the end of many Chinese Eddie, films. Yeah, Eddie, the Eddie, idea of a male a fighter ago, using Chinese yeah, martial Eddie. arts mixed with breakdancing can actually be traced back to the development behind Street Fighter IV's Rufus. His initial concept I thought was they would have said, Cobra, What's his face, a fighter though? with a slender figure and an original fighting style called Break Kung Fu, mixing Eddie elements of Chinese okay. martial arts with breakdancing. Though he lacks a projectile, Jamie has a fairly versatile moveset that includes rekkas, a forward advancing palm strike, a dive kick, flying up kicks, and even a command grab. Now, Jamie can only access some of these attacks after reaching certain drink levels, meaning really? players will have to wow. often okay, choose so between continuing damage or pressure in lieu hmm. of sneaking a drink. Jamie begins the match at a disadvantage from the rest of the cast, uniquely starting at 90% damage scaling, but then gains an extra 5% with each drink he takes, and thus can ultimately reach 110% if he maxes out at level wow. 4. Players who want to mean Jamie will need to be comfortable with more patient footsie play, as well as with memorizing more combo routes as the character's most optimal sequences change depending on how much he's had to drink. Those patient enough to jump through these extra hoops will be rewarded, however, with some pretty stylish abilities and stellar damage output. The yeah, next yeah, newcomer is also part of the younger you new guard though, as we you? make acquaintance with the high-flying and energetic ninja, Kimberly Jackson. A spunky teen with a boundless amount of energy and enthusiasm, Kimberly had an ordinary upbringing but wound up being a prodigy who graduated college early and now wants to be a full-fledged ninja. And Kimberly invited herself to become Guy's student after actually like, defeating right, Zeku in was, friendly uh, combat, neck, and thus no, to be trained in the Bushin Ryu right? fight style. She's infatuated uh, with no, 80s yeah. pop culture, specifically when the portable cassette Man. player was at its peak popularity, hence why she always carries one with her. According to oh, Konami Fujioka, the with the, Kimberly the is set player. to serve as the Chun-Li for the new generation okay. of Street Fighter fans. Okay. Upon connecting her level 3 super, a track called Bunshin Ninja Star Cypher will replace the I mean, match's music for the rest of the, the way battle. She's moving. A version with vocals also moves. exists and can be heard in a mirror yeah, match when both up. Kimberly's <laughs> activate their level 3 supers. Hey, I have to see that, man, but you know, these games, they come outside now with like 60, 70 animations are based on cheerleading poses. Initially, it's like any arsenal of techniques allows her to open up opponents in multiple ways. She can run at her foes, going to various low or high attacks from this running state. You know, like I said, I still play uh, you know, uh, with you know, modern games twists every once in a while. Them just as she replaces much as I used smoke to. And smoke and shuriken bombs with more urban paint-themed approaches. I mean, she can disappear be the old in clouds of colored smoke and teleport to various points on the screen. And can toss spray paint cans onto the ground that explode after a short delay. Good old days. Players who use Kimberly may not have the most reach, but they can still be able to use her to get to the next level. Players who use Kimberly may not have the most reach, but will make up for that with quick and sudden movements that are sure to catch opponents off guard. Dang. Once she's up in your face, she she'll be going to she town with strider. spectacular combos and setups involving her spray can bombs as opponents stand back up to well, their feet. Take, she's take definitely for the more low. aggressive types of players who uh, aren't uh, afraid to throw caution to the uh, wind from time to time uh, and really get fireworks uh, going. Uh, you can call Cap how you want to, man. It is what it we is. We didn't see any French fighters it debut in SF5, <laughs> but the graceful <laughs> grappler Manon is flying the blue, white, and red as she dances her way into Street Fighter VI. A I don't think we really had a world kind champion of ballet Judoka, dance like that, as an idealist, forever seeking self-improvement in the pursuit of beauty. She starts uh, the catwalk of street fighting to become the world's strongest model, and marries uh, both judo and ballet in her fascinating fight style. She wears a judo gi in her standard outfit, but looks a lot more like a famous supermodel in her alternate costume. She has short hair with heim cut bangs and longer fringes on the sides, reminiscent of a swan. In fact, her hairstyle and feather motifs are likely a reference to Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake Ballet. And said mm -hmm. hairstyle also bears a near resemblance to Lady Gaga, specifically in the like music videos like, from her very first album, uh, The Fame. <laughs> Finally, Mal's <laughs> fingernails are painted to I, match I the colors of the French flag, which new. is a nice little patriotic touch for this graceful newcomer. Uh, I, I her go to special attacks are command grabs that see her flip and flop her foes about as though she were dancing with Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Mal has a special level up system, legs. but unlike her fellow dancing fighter Jamie, hers increases when she successfully lands her command grabs. 
These levels do not reset or deplete in Ooh, any way, Amazon, even across rounds, Jesus. making Manon all the stronger as Man. the match goes on, and she gets closer to level 5 where her grabs garner maximal benefits. <laughs> We're still learning a lot about what Manon will offer in the That's gameplay good. department, but her long Man, limbs paired yeah. with an ability to hook and draw sure who the other girl she's close fighting, leads to believe girl that like she won't struggle huge. as much to get in as the traditional grappler does. I'm struggling, I'm trying. Yeah, Marsh. Next up is the swollest fighter on Street Fighter 6's roster yeah, yet, Marissa, who's an up-and-coming jewelry Jeez. designer from Italy who claims ancestry to ancient good, Greek good warriors. Yep. And as a child, she was inspired by a vision of the Colosseum in its prime, and today she seeks glory with a smile and an eye for beauty. Marissa Ouch. is large, fierce, strong, and intimidating, but despite her size, she has a passion for designing jewelry and an ironic fear of heights. Really? Her bob length red hair so. is styled to look like is. a Spartan helmet, though she also That's carries an actual Spartan helmet around with her. She's very statuesque with a stocky build and wears a gold trim that black the attire. Yeah, that's what I thought too. To date, yep. Marissa is the tallest female character in the series at she six gave foot the of her eight, of money is the holder big Elena dude. by eight inches. She's also the heaviest female character in the series at 269 pounds, topping Laura by a whopping 110 pounds. A I mean, powerhouse Laura, of like characters, she, 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 Marissa she, she, utilizes she her long like, games you know, to unleash you know, slow yet gargantuan attacks. This girl, boy, she primarily she, 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 uses Pangration, a submission-based fight style yeah, she that combines is. wrestling mind, with boxing dying, dating back to 7th century Greece. She can use Gladius, a devastating straight punch that can be wound up for extra damage, and Skiotum, hey. a defensive stance that gives her upper body armor and counters an opponent's incoming attack. Quadriga Man. is a powerful front kick that references history's most Ouch. relevant piece of Greek culture, know, right? Zack Snyder's 2006 banger, that 300. 300. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of too. Level super art channels the goddess of the hunt into an almighty tackle straight into a wall. Those who opt to use Marissa will likely appreciate the satisfaction of landing huge haymakers for big chunks of damage at a time, but will need to pair patience with strategy in order to catch faster opponents just at the right moment. Man, she We're not exactly like sure how to feel about this having another Street Fighter yeah. without this M. Bison. This is Sparta! That's crazy though. I ain't gonna lie to you, that's crazy. Hold on. At least not yet. But it looks like Capcom is aiming to fill the big boss shoes with JP this time around. Okay. We don't know a ton about JP, but he does carry himself as an esteemed and successful businessman, perhaps as a bit of an allusion to JP Morgan. Despite oh, really? appearing okay. a good bit older than most anyone else on the roster, JP is a well-built man who looks plenty physically formidable. His primary outfit consists of a pair of orange dress pants with a matching vest, along with a frilled short sleeve shirt with a blue gem in the center. He like He's a, the head uh, of an international uh, uh, non-profit organization responsible for many JP successful snap. investment yeah, projects, JP like and a, the man behind thing, the like present a, prosperity of the from, fictional uh, country of Nashaw. Uh, and Bison. Now it's more than likely that JP is our main big bad guy this time around yeah. with obvious ulterior motives than what we see on the surface, and we have to wonder whether or not some of the more negative major story threads, such as the terrorist bombing that killed Luke's father and that Ken was framed for have been done at his behest. JP wields his cane in his leading hand while holding the other behind his back, charged with a mysterious power that very well may be psycho power or an extension of it. Yeah. While he normally fights with cane strikes and kicks, he can also use his hidden hand to summon portals, spikes, and specters mm. to do his bidding, oh. even switching his cane to his other hand to do so. JP is a no-nonsense leader with a gold-type personality that's all about order, cleanliness, and working that hard to ensure success. Distance. Also, he has a beloved cat named Cybele. He appears yeah, to have an cat. interesting approach to the zoning character archetype, and players who wish to use him are probably going to need to think outside the box a bit as many of his attacks must be set up and come from uncommon angles and positions on oh, screen. Wow. Okay. He may have a harder time with foes who can rush him down and put on pressure easily, though we do yeah, know that he has like a, a unique parry like technique that distance causes distance a projectile to summon and pursue foes. How do you think he'll rank amongst the likes of those who have come before him, such as M. Bison, Gil, and Seth? I mean, it's gonna be interesting. The final see. newcomer to be revealed for Street Fighter VI is none other than Lily, a younger Lily. Native American girl with ferocious attacks hidden behind a small stature and cheerful presentation. Lily speaks with the spirits of nature, harnessing the particular power of wind to enhance her maneuvers and attacks. Oh, okay. She's the franchise's Maybe third playable character with confirmed ties <laughs> sure to the Thunderfoot plastic, tribe man. after T Hawk and Julie, and is the oh, fourth yeah, wielded weapons after yeah. Eagle, Sodom, yep. and DiCaprio. Said weapons are ball 
headed war clubs, which she uses to attack from deceptively long ranges. As a fellow mm. Thunderfoot member, Lily yep. uses many yep. of the same techniques as T-Hawk, such man. as the Tomahawk Buster, Condor Spire, and Condor Dive. However, her mm. unique Condor Wind maneuver allows her to store wind-clad stocks to amplify these special moves. If you're going to main Lily, you'll have a nice variety of farther range normals, specials that use Lily's own body as a projectile of sorts, and what looks like it could be a command grab to keep foes on toes. Lily's ultimate strength will come down to the effectiveness of her versatile abilities when used all together, but even at this early stage we can say that she's an exciting new character whom longtime fans of T-Hawk are sure to be intrigued by. Yeah. And that's all six of the brand new franchise entries Street Fighter VI will be bringing with it when it launches on June 2nd. We'd love to hear your thoughts on how you like or don't like these fresh faces, which is your favorite of the bunch, and right. whether or not you'll be trying some or all of them out. Be, I've been John, Velociraptor she, Guerrero for Event Hubs. Thank you so much for watching, Lily, and we'll see like you that. in our next video. So who, who you guys got, I mean, in, in the video, I mean, because honestly... First, I'll be looking most looked out for would be Marissa on the girl side and, and JP on the guy side because it's like they got them those special moves that are gonna come out of nowhere. They're gonna come straight out of left field, you know. Um, because Marissa, man, she she got that range. She she like tall as crap. She she got that power behind. They even said if she wind up, you know, she actually powers her power up. She can get stronger. So Cammy and Ken, okay, I got you. I understand. So it's gonna be very interesting actually. She going to see how that works too, and and you know with um the new characters coming in in june so you know i definitely want to know uh you know uh who's gonna be the, the top dog because i'm sure they're gonna do like a tier list of uh who's gonna be you know top tier for for which uh thing you kind of go from there so that's gonna be pretty interesting to see as well so yeah man but thanks for letting me know about it because i didn't even realize that you know this is coming out another one's coming out i might play as jamie okay i can see it i mean like i said you know they, they, they all have their good abilities and stuff like that it's just gonna be figuring out Who's gonna be, you know, doing doing what? Can I go from there? So, um, Marissa, JP, where was Jamie? I think Jamie was like before that. I think Jamie was before this. He has a projectile. I was just trying to see if I can see see the names of the people, but I'll probably just bring it up later. I might play or either man yeah, yeah. That'd be another good one too. Honestly, I kind of, I kind of dig in Lily's little vibe thing too that she's giving off. I don't know what it is. I kind of dig that little vibe that she has because I think she's kind of cool, uh, kind of cool with it. And you know, I think that that's gonna be definitely a worthwhile play with her. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the other girl I saw too that I thought was gonna be kind of cool. I'm trying to. So Lily, JP, Marissa, and then let's see. Kimberly was Kimberly the one I saw that I thought was kind of cool or was it Jamie okay Jamie was yeah Jamie was the other guy he like doing like kind of the drunken monkey type style Kimberly yep 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 and then uh Jamie kind of had a kind of drunken monkey style I could see that too and it's weird because you got this big gigantic long uh uh uh, uh, uh ponytail going on too so you know it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how he does with you know because they were saying before that he actually gets his power to power up he said that he actually had to drink from his bottle so you know it's like i guess it gives him more power every chance he gets every time he gets to drink from it but i don't know if it'll give him time to sit up there and drink it i mean because if i was somebody else i'd make sure he stay 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 from that bottle as much as possible you know trying to make sure my man wasn't able to drink at all you know because like like i said him being able to hit that bottle is definitely gonna give him some power which would be pretty interesting to see so i definitely look forward to that one but yeah i have my um Collection of uh of uh of uh Funko Pops for um for uh Street Fighter 2. Like I bought a bunch of uh ones for Street Fighter 2. I didn't buy all of them, but I bought a good portion of them. I have the Blanco one. Bruh up gives me that uh bison butt style look. Yeah, I mean JP, yeah, you know, that's what I was thinking too. Like the uh, that um JP you definitely give me a bison view. Uh, that's what I thought this like they got the bison thing going on. I can see the way he's dressing and his mood set and stuff like that. It's definitely giving me the M bison uh feel to it. So yeah, but I have like uh Blanca, I have Ken, Akumba, Ryu, Kami, uh I think I can't remember who I have uh, behind that one, but I also have like the double packs of the Marvel versus Capcom, which is like um Black Panther and Monster Hunter, uh yeah, Strider and um was that um as you find the other one but Chung Lee and some other ones so yeah homie said I am a uh, classic man <laughs> oh damn now I want to listen to that jam like 
man, hey, you know, you gotta listen to the jams, man. You gotta listen to the good stuff, man. You don't listen to the good stuff, you'll you'll miss out on. Let me see if I have it on here. Let me see if I can uh, play it for you real quick. See if they let me turn it. Classic man. Oh yeah, they have it. Yeah. Yeah. That's all classic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, trying to kind of get the whole thing at this point. Yeah. So that's gonna come out in June. So that's gonna definitely be a pretty good, pretty good game. So yeah, so just for me, you know, I said I have five on here that I got a while ago, uh, but you know, I definitely wanna, you know, get into some of these other games. I bought all these games that was going to sales that they had going on. So it's like, yeah, man, we get the we get some sales going on. I definitely got, I'd be trying to take advantage of it as much as possible and go from there. So you know, just whatever, whatever works for people. But, yeah, just me, you know, I just collect that stuff though, man. So I just have a little bit of everything. So you know, it just it just keeps me occupied and keeps me wanting to do stuff and kind of go through it. So, uh, uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna collect this weekend because I know I was telling everybody earlier that I'm going to see two E2 this weekend, um, and I think it's gonna be really fun and you know I'm gonna be able to you know really kind of you know see a lot of good stuff there that I that I, that I might want, and I'm definitely gonna try to stream. Uh, on Saturday because CTU two is this weekend. I hope they put uh, Sean back. I uh, really miss playing as him from Street Fighter Three on series. We'll see. I mean, uh, you never know with them. You know, they. I, I mean, if I could, I always make sure I try to put a request for certain things if I can. You know, see if you know they're listening at all and they'll bring something back that I might thoroughly enjoy. You know, from a uh, past series if I can. But you never know. You know, they they may listen. They may not listen. It all depends on them and what they want to do and kind of go from there. So, yeah. Yep. So, um, I'm trying to think what else what I want to do today. Um, I kind of go from there. Because like I said, I talked about C2E2. This is going on this weekend. This is Comic-Con weekend coming up. Uh, it's going to be a lot of cosplay going on. It's going to be a lot of people, uh, you know, um, dressing up for this. Uh, this is going to be a big thing. We're going to have a lot of comic books being collected. A lot of stuff being sold. Uh, video games and all that good stuff. Like, approved the move set because, you know, Don was uh, apprentice of Ken Master. Yeah, yeah. That definitely makes sense. Definitely want to improve and make him better and kind of go from there. So that's definitely be important. So, maybe I should play some Street Fighter Five. I mean, I haven't played in a while. Maybe I should play that. Yeah, why not? Why not give it a shot? Give it, give it a shot. It's been a while since I've played Street Fighter, but, hey, you know, it's on here, so why not? Let's see what we got here. Let's switch it out too from just chatting to Street Fighter. Fighter 5. People don't want these uh, hands in the third strike. <laughs> hey, I understand. Hey, you gotta get people to give them a hand, man. You gotta give them the hands. Let them know where you come from. Let them know where you lay at night. So I'm trying to tell people about that. They ain't can't be messing with some people, man. Some people they ain't ready for this life. They ain't about this life. Okay. Why, man? I ask you all these questions, man. As if you know, at this point in the, in the game, as if you really gonna have a choice of the matter if you're gonna do it or not. I really missed the arcade days. Yeah, me too. I miss them all the time, man. Because a lot of times. Uh, it's, it's very different from how it used to be. We used to go to arcade, have quarters on the machine, stuff like that. Are y'all gonna make me go through the whole thing? Are y'all gonna let me? Genjin! Hadouken! It's Dr. Skip. Okay, I'm just gonna skip it. What's wrong? Come over here! Come over here! I'm gonna go through the whole. Is it gonna go through the whole thing again, or is it gonna let me actually go through the actual thing? Good. No, somehow. <laughs> you gonna let me play the main game, or you gonna let me go through the whole thing? I don't know. 
Whew. I'm complete. Let's see if they ask me to let me go through the whole thing. Master the basics. Yeah, 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 yeah. This gets to the point now. So you know, full well people don't pay as much attention to that stuff as they used to. Come on now. Stuff on stuff using the top, but this one did not. No, that's not. Asia, Africa, North America. Enter Fighter RD. Why not? Sure, I want to use that name. That is my name. It is my name. I will use it, and I will use it to my advantage. Ha 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 ha! Let's see. Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter 5. Let's see what we got here. I'm sorry, my, my main guy will always be uh, Ryu, though. I'm sorry, that's always going to be my main guy. Ryu. Go beyond the battle. Brazil. Brazil. Laura. Take that. Rewind it back. Ursa got the voice. Reorder now. Round one. Smart advertising. Fight. I don't want to speak too quick because I'm out of I'm probably gonna get my butt whipped back after a while. You know, just come out of nowhere and just kick my butt. Somebody come out of nowhere and kick my butt. China. China. Yeah. 
There it is. We're really pushing out this this uh, round one. Fight. Again, they, they, they start you off all easy and stuff, but then after a while, they're gonna get hit me with something crazy. That way, be ready for it. They're gonna hit me with something really different. I know they are, they always do. shows listeners prefer a personalized experience so to help you remember living round one fight oh that's my boy uh guile Oh, you got man. <laughs> no. Round two. Try to get my, my, my combo together if I can. Man, they're gonna come out with somebody gonna do some crazy stuff. All of a sudden, gonna get out the room. Another fight is coming your way. Another fight is coming your way. Shoot. I'm gonna come in here like that. Really? I'll fight this battle. Why? Because it is my duty. Round one. Fight. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
people of Earth. I have felt your power. Really? Round two. I wish I did, man. I just got my butt whooped. By the, by the gentleman. Nine, eight, the battle continues. Battle. Got my butt whooped. Got my butt handed to me. What's up with us? Oh, they, they make you pay for him right now? Oh, it makes you pay for everybody. They folks. You know what I'm to you. <laughs> That's a ridiculous though. You see the size of these people? Who are they right by got that type of money, man? Seriously. It's about 10 of my old guys in this boy. They bogus though. I, I don't even understand that. On the battle, man. India. See if I got what it takes. Round one. Both fight. Oh, you got a down shit that dude to me? Man, that is cheating, man. That is straight up cheating. You get like a eight foot fruit shot. You got like an eighty foot reach. I'm supposed to beat against that. Like eight foot reach, man. How am I supposed to be the best or something like that? Who's supposed to defend against that, man? Oh, see, how do you defend against somebody got like a, a ninety foot reach like that? Seriously. You see this mess? Round two. This man is just flipping body up like that. Damn it! Oh, oh you can. How you gonna beat against something like that, man? Seriously. Hadouken. Really? I couldn't block that? Cap is real. Oh, come on, man. 
Against that. My man literally swivel up like a freaking snake. Hey, you that, man. We'll be on the battle. That ain't even worth it. That ain't even fair, man. That's not even fair. India. So I see we're gonna keep shuffling around the deck on We won't pre no view. Round one. Fight! Snakes. See if that works any better. USA. USA. Tim. Going back to the States. Round one. Fight. Damn it. This guy comes up. You win. 
They're going easy, man. There's something happening. Ready. Yeah, it didn't pass me as a dollar away, but. Sure. I mean, Sakura went way back when she was on, uh, actually on um, Rival yeah. School. Like, I really was a big fan of Rival School, the old school. I kind of wish that game had gone away. No, that game was really, really good. Cool. Round one. Let's see what we got here. Fight! You want some new smoke? Oh, cure. Oh, oh, my move. I'm coming through. Poison. See what you got. USA. Poison. Okay. Who's she talking about? Round one. Fight.
Bora. I got a thank. Secret area. Secret area. Bang. Apathy and acronym for something. So. Originals.disney.com Round one Fight! There's a poison! 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 Good. Round two. Vega Old school, We're going old school with Vega. Secret area. Secret area. Vega, pretty boy, Vega. I remember pretty boy Vega. Round one. Fight! Oh, damn it. Oh, you can. Yeah, My man likes to hop around a lot. Oh, 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 Get out of my lobby! Get out of my lobby! Good. Good. Round two. Playing a back and best in those Street Fighter days, and man, my man would be hopping on the wall like crazy. Bad guy, bad guys. He never goes down easy. He never goes down easy. Bow down before my sight. Round one. Fight. Round two. 
Yeah, I wasn't expecting all that, man. I don't know. I might be, I might, I might be uh, in trouble with this one. Uh. To give me a run for my lose. money. I don't know. Oh, is that it? Dang. Nice. Fight on. on. Fight on. Hey, no, bro. Wow. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. 
Let me have to fail it, of course. What four tries? Five tries? They lose their way, they find the answer within the fight, they two, their fists to save everything that they Thank you for playing. No problem. Thank you for having the game available for me. Alright, so I should beat that one. And I'm actually going to exit real quick. And exit to the application. Alright, so that being said, I am actually going to get ready to head off in a little bit. Um and you know, just kind of just veg out so I'm gonna kinda go from there and see see what's going on. Whoops, hit the wrong button. So uh here real quick uh let's see who we got here oh uh, let's see so i'm actually gonna just head off i'm not gonna raid anybody at least i don't feel like i should raid anybody uh because i don't really have a lot of people right now though i appreciate everybody who stopped through t gamer emo um and ball 41 thanks for stopping by uh, so we're gonna get ready to head off and I hope I'll be on tomorrow and you know I can actually check out you know We actually can do more stuff tomorrow and go from there I kind of was just doing just chatting today, but then I decided to do something different But you know again it's a day where it's only kind of go from there And then I was having some technical issues earlier today, too So I decided this as well. So with that being said again, I'm gonna get ready to head off I hope everybody has a great rest of the night and I will catch you guys on the next round. Good night